Hey everyone, this is Jules. Just wanted to share a haul with you guys. One of the new, well, the newest collection that they got. Oh my god, it's so pretty. This, I I ordered the collection and then I ordered one sheet um, just so that I can cut out and play with. One of the newer collections is called Alma's Sewing Room. And here is the name here. And I, I'm going to tell you, for those of you that have, that have never ordered Peon, I've never ordered Peon until now. Um, they offered it on their website for you to, anybody, for anybody uh, to purchase on their website. And just recently on February 1st, they have closed their web store, their, their online store uh, to just regular customers. So the downfall I feel, and I beg them to please not to do this, not to close their website because it just, it eliminates um, us trying to be able to get what's available, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, it's gonna be so hard for people to be able to find entire collections and exact papers that they want so we'd have to go out and look and hunt for, um, you know, the exact papers that we're looking for, or releases that we're looking for. Out here in the U.S., I can't find a collection. Any, I can't find the, an entire collection. I, I got the entire collection from Peon. Anyhow, um, so beautiful papers, beautiful images, very vintage. It is really pretty. A downside for me was that they only have, in their collections, they don't have two or three of, of one specific style. Um, it's it's about 15, I think this particular collection is 14 or 15 uh, papers, and they're all different. There's no two that are the same. Uh, they do have, like, this design, this damask type of design in this gray. They have it in a plum, they have it in a violet, and they have different colors of the same design. They don't have a variety, and that's what is a little sad to me, too, that I was like... I thought I, I would at least get two of each sheet, but I didn't. And um, yeah, so let me show you here. Of course, it's very shabby chic, so it has a distressed look to it. Um, all the paper is almost all cream. Uh, none of it's white. It's all on cream background. So this is one of the die cut sheets here. And I mean, as you can see, they're really pretty. So here's uh, some of the, it's a little dark. You know, if I had the money to spend, I, I would go out and buy buy the paper if I wanted it that bad. Well, I mean, I wanted the, the, wanted these really bad when I was hunting for it. And some of you guys on Facebook would, will know. Um, I was asking, you know, where can I find it? I was wanting to get some really bad and decided to get it. It's a gift to myself, so. All right, and then the other side was the gray damask. Um, let me move this over here. Okay, so that's that one um this is another sheet and the top has this beautiful lampshade and then this beautiful dress form in the corner and they're purplish violet very uh the a darker shade of purple kind of almost gray um very light shade though pretty pretty though so here's one of the another damascus just like this one's just in a purple and there's a few shades, and I'll show you that too. So that's that one there. And so again, this is Alma Sewing Room. And this is the entire collection here. You see the stitch marks? Beautiful. Another clock with the cameo in, in, at the top there. Really, really pretty. And then a lighter gray dama uh, damask. Same pattern. This one's a little darker. And then this one here, really pretty cutouts too. And then clothes hanging from a clothesline. And the back side has um, the back side of people. They're looking forward. Just a little, It's it goes with the theme, so that's what it is. This one's pretty too. This one's a floral in the corner here in that light plum colors with some script and ledger, ledger print there and some ledger in this corner here. This is called Purple Rose. 
You can see the, the, some script there and on the side right there. Really cute. The back side are scissors. <laughs> cute. Really cute. In a, in a purplish tone. And this one is exactly the same except that it's in blue. You see the floral here? Floral here. So this one's purple rose, this one's blue rose. So it's exactly the same. And then the back side, um, these are scissors or some sort of clip. Oh, they're little, little hinge clips. Like they clip like that. I think like for like a little kid's blouse or something, little kid's shirt. It's kind of hard to see, I think. So this is in that bluish tone, like the blue from the front side. This is an awesome sheet. Um, cutouts, really pretty cutouts. So, I mean, you guys, this is going to be a long video, so if you guys are not wanting to see the entire thing, you can skip the whole video. This is going to be pretty long because I'm going to share all the papers because a lot of people have never seen the collections. And I want to give them a chance to be able to see what they look like uh, for the three that I got anyways. Really pretty script in a gray and a kind of a blue color. I'm trying to make sure that it looks like, looks the same as what I see in the screen of my camera. And then this one here is just cute. It's called Purple Wallpaper. Really light lavenderish colors, which I is not one of my colors, but and I knew that it was going to be a, a purple shade of a paper collection, um, but I wanted I wanted it anyways. So again, purple wallpaper, and the back side has a um, kind of uh, instructions on how to uh, make like a skirt or whatever, like um, like on your on your patterns, on your uh, sewing patterns and things purple wallpaper this one here are little rosebuds uh, it's called blue fabric it looks similar to some little girl shirts that little undershirts that I had when I was a little girl had a little um, little rose on the neck part really cute and this is the same as this pattern it's just in a blue color so exactly the same again it's called blue fabric and here's my extra die cut sheet that I got. Same that the mask. This is a nice border, nice border sheet. So it's got these like scrolls here. Um, these are from spools. They're like the little labels that go on the end of the spools. Leaves. Um, again, the, like a, a damask or a garland type of de design. Same thing with the labels. Sewing machines and I oh look at that iron, the really cute. Scissors, buttons, thimbles. Uh, button border tape measure that same garland Victorian garland looking thing design labels little roses like the blue roses on that one blue fabric paper buttons measuring tape again with that design labels roses buttons and then two sizes of butterflies really cute and this side is just all purplish and it has um, a tone on tone a same like lighter shade of purple uh, of swirls and florals and things more just leaves and, and flourishes. Pretty, pretty distressed um, looking paper too. It's really, really pretty. I like it. And these are a, another die cut sheet. So you got three postcards here. These are uh, like, um, like uh, they're spool, spool cards, um, thread spools or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I can't remember. So there's three there, um, then four smaller ones, and you get tiny ones here. And these are actual little pockets. You cut them out, and you cut the slit, and you can um, make your own little pocket for a tag like one of these guys. Really cute. And then these little cards here on the top. The back side. See, now, I can never use this back side because I'm going to want to cut everything out from here. So I'd have to literally go and buy another collection or another sheet to get to be able to use them both. So... Yeah, this blue one is just like this last purple one with the swirls and stuff on it. See, so yeah, I wish they would have had um, two, two or three of the same papers. Another die cut sheet. This is beautiful tags. Four tags down there. All these blue labels and then some smaller ones. Smaller tags up here with beautiful images on there. Some more tags and then a larger, wider tag. This one's actually wider than these down here. And then the back side is this like black blackish like a charcoal gray color and it's got some ledger a little bit of distressed look on there some ledger which we've seen on, on one of the other sheets so 
that one is almost sewing room guys so the first one off of this one here is um it's called signs of spring again it has a cream background and then it has a bunch of beautiful images um layered images you got swirls and partial damasks and florals and then some script like notebook not notebook but uh, novel book paper like storybook paper and it has beautiful Easter springish colors. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Beautiful paper. Butterflies here dancing at the very top. And then the back side has this beautiful uh, coral color. Melon, salmon, whatever you want to call it. Really pretty. This one here is called um, Newly Hatched. And the entire page looks like this with the little chicks coming out of their egg surrounded by flowers and it's got this then this side it has like a wallpaper look um, striped floral with uh, some green and different shades of peaches pinks so that one's newly hatched this one here is tulip bud pretty 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 it's got the um paper like a uh, storybook paper on there too I don't know how well you can see it. It's got on this corner too. As well as this corner. So it's got some distressed look to it um, too. So, And this one is just a more solid salmon color. On there, here's your swirls and florals. This next one is um, called Violet. And it's got beautiful little, looks like pansies or little violet flowers here. It's with some uh, book paper. Um some little areas here of um purple floral this is really pretty for um to actually do your layout on i really like this sheet of paper checkered really pretty um really cute this one is hope it's called hope with beautiful bunny <laughs> it's so cute and so the bunnies are scattered throughout the, the page here and 12 by 12. All of these are 12 by 12s. This is another chocolatey checkered. So see, we're going with the checkered again. There's that. This one is butterfly, which has a lot of creams, browns, uh, some greens in there, yellows. Really pretty. The entire thing is this whole page. And you can see there's leaves, and then you can see the music notes back there. Very, very pretty paper. In the back is a uh, chocolatey brown with these uh, school or a uh, book paper, a reading book or a novel book paper, some damask in the background. Okay, this one's Lily of the Valley, very pretty. See these green tones, yellow, uh, mint, or sea foam, whatever you want to call it. And this bird at the very top, two birds at the very top. Okay, this one is called Leaf. So it's got leaves all over, like ivy. <clears throat> and the back side has the green with the damask and flourishes and book paper. Okay. This one is um, Poem of Spring. Really cute. It has a combination of creams, blues, greens, and there's a hint of like a rusty color, but I'll show you the rest of the... This stuff is really pretty. Really pretty design throughout the entire page. And then, sorry, and then this blue, which is um, ivory background, and then it's got light damask. You can mainly see it on the edges. And then it looks like it's cloudy, like a little bit of whitewash kind of look to it. Really pretty. Yeah, I can, yeah, you can see what I'm talking about there. And then this one is called Image Sheet, which is what you see is an image sheet. Um, mainly Easter because it it's a springtime uh, theme paper. Really pretty images on here, though. You can use these on cards, ETCs, on layouts even. If you want to have an image on there, you can cut some of these out. <clears throat> and then the back side is this cream with a uh, chocolate polka dot. Has some flourishes in the corners too, as some of the other ones did. 
This one is a border and a die cut page. Um, it's also a cutout sheet. So it's got your um, postcards. Look at him on a spool, a little cherub on a spool, and the little butterflies are, are pulling him. Aren't Isn't that cute? That's so cute. What's this one here? And then stamps, different stamps to cut out. <clears throat> now, if you don't want this, of course, you can just use the other side, which I'm not sure what it is quite yet. Uh, looks like it's a yellow, but I'll show you right now. So it's got these borders too. Ten different um, borders you can use. You can cut these in pieces too. You don't have to use them as a full 12. And this creamy side has uh, some damask too on the edges, just like a lot of the other ones. Almost every paper has that, looks like. A little bit of the damask kind of flourishes. Um, there's no script or or book paper on here. This one is called tags, which um, what's cute is that they got little egg-shaped tags, and then they have these banner uh, flags here for titles and things. Little tags, they got tickets, the scroll that is so pretty. Beautiful tags. You put your own holes in it. And just like these three are the same, and then these three are the same. Has like a little ornate edge to there. That's just a nice rounded, traditional round tag. And in the back side, of course, see the cream there. Um, this checkered. Checkered, checkered, checkered. And then it has, again, the damask edges. Um, this one is Cherry Blossom. Very pretty. The flowers, vines, some light damask flourishes, and um, novel paper. Really pretty chocolate browns. I don't know what color that is. Kind of a, I guess a peachy, dark, darker peach kind of color. And then you can see the other side is this um, peachy color. So again, it's called um, cherry blossom. And then this one is pink dot. So of course you see ivory or cream in the background, and then the pink dots, and then the flourishes demands there, all along the edges. There's no other images on there. And then the striped with the mask and flourishes there and there, corners. This one has a purplish kind of a tone. Um, it's called purple dot. So you got to see the pur the cream and then the dots and then again with the swirls and the damask design up along the edges. And then this has the more of a solid uh, design. And you see little flowers all over, like a garden. It's all over it. See that? And then your damask and flourishes all up along the edges and the cream. Really pretty, actually. Super pretty, super pretty. And that is the Fairy Tale of Spring by Peon. The next one here is called um, Grandma School Book, released in 2012. And it looks like it's one of their bigger sellers, I think, um, from what I read on the blog. This is one of the first sheets here. Um, it's called Little Girl. So adorable. Look at her. The little chick or little duck right there. Daisies. The fence. And has the opening. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So again, Grandma School Book by Peon Designs. Has little blue skies and the birds in the background. Really pretty. Um, novel paper and then the back side is this golden buttery yellow sort of a damask um in a lot of the cream and it has a distressed look to it almost looks like a fancy almost chicken wire really pretty okay so again that one's called little girl this one is called uh swing swing to the clouds Again with the words there. This one has a little kid. Looks like a little blue boy. Um, on the swing. And it looks like the entire heavens <laughs> is this uh, hydrangea bush. Looks looks like really cute. And it has this lace border. That's really pretty too. Really, really pretty. Gosh, it's so cute. And the back side is the, the blue damask. Bluish gray. It's got some browns in it. A little bit of a beiges browns. So pretty. See that brown in there? Looks like a little burned edge. Um, this one's called Barn. Next one. 
This has really cool little images on it. You can cut out, put it on um, on a layout or on a card. Really pretty. So it's just scattered. This is not one that I would use to put, do an actual layout on. This is one I would cut out. I don't know why it's called barn. Or no, it's called children, which I guess in Swedish it's called barn. They have it in English as well, so that's nice. And this one is that uh, peachy color, really pretty. The mask all over. So it's called blue wings. And in Sweden, that's that's what it's called. That's translates to blue wings. Um, this here has like a lacy kind of border, but that also has like music sheet notes. Um, along the edges nothing in the center it's just a creamy color but all along the edges it's completely bordered with that lace and music notes has a hint of fl some flourish back there look at that corner isn't that pretty and this one has like a striped with some little daisy flowers in the stripes a little distressed look there <clears throat> pretty it's called blue wings this one's gorgeous too uh, called cornflower and um, it's got this design in the corner I guess it is a cornflower I don't know what I'm, I don't know my flowers but and it has an awesome border all along the entire edge beautiful soft greens and blues in there again with the seagulls or birds whatever super gorgeous the back side is um, looks like little children's book literature, little children's dictionary or something. It's gorgeous. I would use this for a background, but I would, I don't even think I would use this side at all. I think I would use this side for a layout. It's very pretty. This one is Red Clover. Has that peachy pinkish color. With the ivy look with leaves and greens and creams again with the book paper and then striped red just red clover this one's really pretty look at this this one's called forest yep gorgeous that's beautiful really pretty Actually, it has a lace border along it too. Then it has the green, like chicken wire um, design, but in a flourishy kind of a fancy way. <laughs> Some of the brown there too, really pretty. This one is called Daisy. This is pretty for a photo mat or to layer another solid color cardstock here with the, uh, your layout on there. Really pretty. Also has the book paper, novel paper, or whatever. And then the back side is this blue stripe, uh, brownish kind of color stripe with some ivory in there too. Again, that, this one is called Daisy. <clears throat> this one is called Summer Play. So it's got, looks like little um, bits and pieces from children's books. really pretty and it's in a kind of a grayish color grayish brown kind of a mocha maybe even and then the back side is oh this is pretty it's like a daisy with some distressed crinkles back here and then the top has this lacy border with some greenery that's pretty um this one is called leaves it speaks for itself it's got script in it it's pretty. The back side is this stripe. Oh, this is the same as the other one. Okay, that one's blue. See how they, they kind of have a little bit of repetitiveness. You see these stripes, all the stripes here? So they got the green, the blue, and the pink. So I don't think there's another stripe in there. But you see what I'm saying? Yeah, there is another stripe. This yellow. So it's got that repetitiveness. Of design throughout the paper some more looks like a children book this one's called school book and the back side is the kind of a grayish plum brownish plum color damask 
and it has the vintagey feel, the distressed look all over it, all over the edges mainly. And the center doesn't have much, little, little bits like that. So that's really cute too. And this one's fun. This one's called Letters. And these are about um, like an, um, gosh, about three quarters of an inch tall by like a half inch, half inch wide, each little section, little letter. So it's like three quarters of an inch that way and about a half inch this, uh, the other way. And what I like is that it comes in pink and blue and um, ivory. So that is called letters. And the back side has the, some, again, like little poetry, children's poetry or something. This one is the borders. It's called borders. Oh, it's really cute. I like the footprints. Look at that. Super adorable. Um, I like the little measuring tape too. It says a lot of the images from the collection. This is pretty. And the butterflies. Really pretty. I like that. The back side is this green. Kind of a graph paper. It's like a graph paper in the background. That's pretty. This one is just a couple more guys. It's called a cutout sheet. So it's got these cards. It's got these like stamps. It's got these um, just little uh, image cards. Nice. And then these borders. Or it could be a border. You can just cut these out to fit on your layout. And the back side is a um, graph. Looks like a graph ledger type design. Has the distressed looks to it. And then it has this beautiful lace border again on the top. Like one of the other ones did. Same thing on that one. And then this one is called Tags. So, of course, it's a grandma school book. And you would think book, stories, children's stories, whatever. It's got little bookmarks in here, too. Really pretty. Tickets with, a like, a calendar. Um, just regular photo mats, tickets, tags, journaling uh, spots, too. That one's so cute. Big, large ticket. Wow, that's so pretty. <laughs> a little book. And then the back is this uh, the pink tone, and this one has the lace all on four sides. It's beautiful. And this is beautiful. They do have beautiful paper, and it is nice thick thick cardstock. It's just not as thick as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so those are the three paper collections that I got. And okay, you guys. So if you have any questions, though, I mean uh, the links to the websites. Uh, to, to the website is below and again sad to say that uh, Peon is not going to be selling to regular people they're they're selling only to cus to retailers so that you know other retailers or other stores can sell um, their paper but it's just so hard because it just gets expensive and I don't know how popular and how much you guys are willing to pay for paper but if you know if you can afford it um, and if you want to pay for it, of course, that's all up to you. You do what you want to do and purchase what you want, what you want to purchase. Anyways, that's my, my pee on paper haul. And again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, websites down below and you guys can search for a online store that can carry, that carries what you're looking for. So, all right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Jill Sang out of the Jewel Box. Bye, everyone.